Hello everyone, this is Ana Montenegro, Cisco CS Technical Leader, and in this video, I will walk you through how to upgrade a C-Series standalone using the Host Upgrade Utility Tool. You need to meet this requirement before you start. Read the release notes before the upgrade. Verify the compatibility using the UCS Hardware and Software Compatibility Tool. For Hyperflux nodes, ensure the firmware version is compatible with the HSDP version. The server has to be in maintenance mode as the upgrade involves a reboot. Login into the CINC with your user and password to verify the server model, the current firmware version, and launch the KVM to verify the OS version. Now go to the ACL tool and input the server type, server model, processor version, and operating system version to verify the compatible firmware versions. For this example, the server is compatible with the 423 version. Now let's download that firmware version. Go to sitska.com and then go to product support and click on software download. Please ensure you are logging to proceed. In the search bar, type UCS C-Series Rack Mount Standalone Server Software and hit Enter. In the right column, select the name of your server model. Click on the Unified Computing System UCS Server Firmware option. In the left pane, select the release number of the firmware you want to download. Click on the download icon to start downloading the file and click on Accept License Agreement. This confirms your agreement with the terms and conditions related to the firmware download and usage. The file is downloaded to the local computer. Now, let's go back to the CINC and on the KVM go to Virtual Media and select Map Virtual Media CD DVD. Browse to select the ISO image from your local computer and map the drive. Verify that the image is mapped and proceed to reboot the server. Go to Power and select the option Reset System. Click OK to confirm the reboot. During the server boot, press F6 when prompted to open the boot menu screen. In the boot menu screen, choose the map ISO. In this case, is the Cisco BKBM map DVD. Now the server will boot the HUU image. Please take into account that this process will take a few minutes. Once the HUU successfully boot, you will see a screen with the Cisco End User License Agreement. Read the EULA and click Asset to continue. You can now update the firmware components. Click Update and Activate. On the pop-up screen, check Exclude Storage Drive to exclude the drive from the update and check Power cycle to activate to automatically reboot the server after the update. The HUU will take care of update all the applicable firmware and reboot the server afterwards. This process will take some time and after the process ends, the KVM will be disconnected. It's expected to lose connectivity to the CINC for a few minutes. After the connectivity is restored, Logging again to the CINC with your credentials. Launch the KVM again and verify that the server boots into the operating system. Then you can verify on the CINC GUI the new firmware version for the CINC and for their components. Thank you for watching.